Here we go, section 8.2, multiplying a polynomial by a monomial. That's just a fancy way of saying distribution. So we've already learned how to do distribution, but we did it mostly just with numbers or single variables. So now that we've learned all these rules about exponents, we can try distribution with a lot harder stuff. So note that the monomial can be in the front or the back. So this is important because sometimes you have an expression in parentheses uh, with lots of terms in it, so a polynomial and then it's being multiplied by a number or a variable at the back so like say parentheses and then 3x squared so it's just important to remember that you can distribute the thing in the back to all the stuff because with multiplication the order doesn't matter so you could conceptually think of moving that um, monomial at the back all the way to the front and then distributing it in the normal way second reminder before we jump straight into the examples is that uh, there's lots of exponent rules. Usually we think about six different ways of writing the exponent rules. And there's PEMDAS. And so when you're when you're simplifying an expression by distributing, you're you're contributing to part of PEMDAS. But within that, you still have to follow all the different rules of exponents. Um, and so uh, I'm not going to refresh them here, but we'll do them in the examples. So let's go through a whole bunch. Multiplying a polynomial by a monomial. I'm going to do a lot because they're very quick, and this is the only thing in the video. So the very first one we're going to distribute, and again, just a reminder, you want to draw these little arrows to help um, make sure you don't miss anything. So a times 4a, there's a 1 in the front of the a, so 1 times 4 is 4, a times a is a squared. Uh, when we multiply two things with the same base, we add the exponent, okay? Plus, plus, a times 3 is 3a. So first one, very easy. Okay, let's do number 5 we're distributing a negative 3n. So the negative 3 goes with the n as you distribute it in. So negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, and then n multiplied by n squared, we add the exponents, and we get n to the third power. Or if you think about the combat or whatever, you have one soldier joining two soldiers for a total of three soldiers. Okay, here's a plus sign, but we're multiplying by a negative 3. So negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6, n times n, n squared. Let's come down here. Okay. Um, in this one, I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to actually distribute the negative 4b all the way to the back first, because this is the highest uh, power term, which means it has the highest degree, which means we really should be writing it first. So we'll write them in standard form. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. b times b squared is b to the third power. Okay, then we distribute to this guy, because that's the next highest term, highest degree. Negative 4 times negative 9 is positive 36. And then we do the variables. b times b is b squared. And then negative 4b times 1 is just negative 4b. Okay? And so I want you to look at this answer and compare it to the original thing. In this one, we had three different powers of b. We had squared, first power, and nothing at all. We multiplied everything by a b, so all those powers went up by 1. So instead of uh, 2, 1, 0, now we have 3, 2, and then this is b to the first power, even though we normally don't write it. So when you distribute something in, it preserves the relative uh, powers of those guys. If they increase by 1 each time, then they're still going to increase by 1 each time after distributing into them. Okay, and let's move down here to simplify each expression. Number 13. So here we have some distribution. And then we also have another term to add on. So I'll do this one in two steps. Let's first distribute w times 3w is 3w squared. w times 2 is plus 2w. So that's the first part from distribution. And we still have this plus 5w at the end. Okay. So we combine like terms. This one and this one are like terms. So the final answer is 3w squared plus 7w because obviously 2 plus 5. Now we keep the w's the same. So with multiplication or division, you're changing the exponents. With addition and subtraction, you're changing the coefficient, but not the exponent. Okay, and final example here. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll just do number 15. Distribute the negative p in here and here, and you get negative 2p squared, because negative p times 2 is negative 2, and p times p is p squared. Negative p times negative 8 is positive 8p. Remember that if you have a negative, it's like negative 1. Okay? Then we have a minus 5p at the back here, minus 5p at the back. 
combine like terms, which is the last two. So we have negative 2p. Positive 8 minus 5 is positive 3p. And that's all there is to these. So distribute, combine using the rules of exponents. Obviously, um, I think in the actual homework problems, you're going to get some that are a little trickier than these exponent rules. Um, but this gives the gist of the idea of what it is that you're doing. And then apply that to har harder problems if you have them. All right, see you in class.